bottom so in this tutorial i will be telling you that uh, how to post request using angular js so in the last tutorial we have seen the get method so now we will be seeing the post method so this is the application you can see that there is a form here which contains three fields name age and address so let me just uh, show you the demo of the application by writing name here age and some kind of address so when i press the send button you will see that a output message will be printed that is post data submitted successfully along with the details that we have submitted through the form here so also if i inspect element and go to the console go to the console here so you will see a object being returned from the api and it contains the data that we have submitted uh, just right now so you can see that the three fields are out there name age and address and the fourth field id has been auto generated by the api and and for the api for the backend purpose we are using this api called as json placeholder so this is the endpoint that we are using https json placeholder dot typo code dot com slash post so from this we are posting request so let's uh, let's start from scratch and let me just delete all the code and uh, only two files will be there so index.html and uh, a script file which will be controller.js so let me just start writing the code in index.html so this is the basic stuff of html so let me just give a title of uh, angular.js post request example and after that you need to be including the cdn of uh, angular.js so let me just go to google and grab the cdn just write here angular.js cdn so basically cdn stands for content delivery network so it is just a way of including angular.js either you can download it or you can just copy paste the script file and just after the head you can just uh, copy paste it so we have successfully included angular.js so now in the body we will be containing a form but first of all we need to be having a div tag after that we will be initializing our app by ng app directive so let me just name it as a post service app and inside this we will be having our app so apart from that we will also be having our controller so let me just initialize it with the ng controller so let me just name it as a post service control ctrl just a shorthand notation and inside this we will be having our application so after this we will be having our form so these this form will contain three fields first will be the name and this is a label you can see that after that it will be a input type text and let me assign a ng model directive so that we can target it in the controller so let me just initialize it to name and after that just one break tag or you can just write two just for the alignment purpose and similar goes for age input type text and this time i will be initializing ng model to age and last but not least we have address this will again be input type text and ng model address two break tags so now we will be, at the end we will be having a button so that we can submit the form this will be input type button and the value will be sent the label on the button so and apart from that we will also be attaching a on click event listener so that we can just click the button and we will be attaching it with the help of ng click directive so when we click this button we will be executing this function which is post data 
so d is small here o stata so inside this it receives three arguments name age and address so we will be writing this custom function in the controller.js file and just after that we have the two break tags so this is there in this parent div tag so for this we will be initializing another div tag So this div tag will be the child element of the parent div tag so just close this after writing the button and this is the parent div tag of the controller class and now at the bottom we will be displaying the values so once the form is submitted and the response has come back from the API we will be dynamically be rendering the response so this will be output message So in order to dynamically insert uh, values in HTML we make use of this expression called as template string it is there inside double curly brackets and we write the variable name that is msg so we will initialize in it in the controller and similarly we will also print the name age and address values so just make use of this syntax double, double curly brackets similar age and similar goes for address also that's it so this is the whole index.html file just one thing is remaining we need to include the controller.js file at the bottoms so the index.html is complete so now if I launch the application by going to localhost 5500 port number so you will see that the form is ready and the button is also ready so now if I click the button nothing happens and you will see that these are the four fields which will be rendered out once the response comes back from the API so now I will go to the controller.js and write the scripting part so first of all we need to make the app variable and initialize the angular.js by calling angular.module so inside this we, we will be having our uh, module name that we have initialized it in the index.html same name that is post service app so post service app and the second argument is the dependencies so which dependencies are you using so in in the simple application we are not using any kind of dependencies so empty array is passed so now we will be setting the controller by app.controller so inside this we will pass the name of the controller that we have defined in the index.html that is post service controller so same name has to be passed here post service controller uh, let me just check the spelling service controller ctrl so the next argument is receives is the scope object so this receives a callback function so we write the scope as dollar scope comma the http service that we are using so this is also required so inside the double curly brackets first of all we will be setting the name to null the age also to null this is not mandatory but uh, it is good programming practice to set all these values to null before submitting it to the form address to also null so after defining these two all these values or resetting these values to null we will be defining our custom function of post data once we click the button we are defining this custom function so you can see that in the index.html we are uh, calling this function post data sorry d is small here so post data so it receives a callback function so we are just defining this this way so this receives three arguments name age and address so we will pass these arguments so and from these arguments we will be creating a object that we will pass to the service so let me just create a object of data 
so this will be a json object it will hold all the values of the form that is submitting first is the name you initialize it name colon name age to age and address to address so our app object is ready so now we just need to call the http dot post service so this is simply called by dollar http dot post so inside this we will have to pass the url of our api so just go to the json placeholder and just grab this url and copy it and uh, inside this paste it here so it is post so you can see that is it is plural so just attach a s here post and uh, after that we need to just uh, convert the data from json by using this function json stringify and pass our data object that's it so now we will be using our this returns a promise so you can see that it returns a promise for the completion of this callback function so we will handle this by using the dot then function so inside this it is it receives a callback function which contains the response so first of all we will console log response so now if I just uh, execute execute the application by submitting these three values and open the console here just inspect element go to the console so let me just write some random values here so click on the send button so you will see that a JSON response has been received from the API the data is coming here you can see that address age and ID so all these three fields are there here so then we just need to display these values so first of all we will check by if condition if response dot data so this simply means that if any kind of data is present in the response then only render this block so if this is a case then we will be setting the message variable that we have you can see that this is a message variable that we have set in the index.html we are just setting this by our controller so scope dot message so basically scope is the variable which connects the index.html and the javascript so, so this will be equal to just you can just give any message so i will give that post data submit it and semicolon and similarly we will be setting the name also scope dot name this will be equal to response dot data dot name so whichever be the data that you are submitting we are just initializing it to similarly scope dot h is equal to response dot data dot h and scope dot address is equal to response dot data dot address so you can see that in this three values sorry this is in capital we need to write it in the capital and also this ng model of address we need to have is a small a so this was a problem so just make it capital scope name this needs to match in the index.html and also the script.js so address double d so so after this it also receives a another function that is it is after that uh, after the scope variable is comma function error so if any kind of error take place also so then also we can just console log it console log error that's it so now if I execute it the application is complete so basically if I refresh it type any kind of name here just random and also the address and click the send button so you will see that a JSON response is received in the console also and now if I 
close the console you will also see that this message post data submitted which is rendered out successfully along with the values that is name age address so if I just want to submit another time here let me enter some more details age 22 and some kind of address and send it so again you can see that post data submitted name age address so this is kind of a post request that you can handle in angular.js with simple http service so thanks for watching this video if you want more videos like this then please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much